Okay. Okay, so <laughs> I give up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So this one, we do conservate. So <clears throat> during the moments of impact, you have conservation of momentum, not conservation of mechanical energy. Once that is embedded and it oscillates, you can say simple harmonic motion and conservation of mechanical energy. Okay. So given a spring constant, mass the block, mass the bullet. It's compressed to a maximum distance. And then this becomes your amplitude. Um, so I'm going to take the conservation of mechanical energy for it, like in blue. Um, so I know that initially you have kinetic energy of the entire system, bullet, and um, the mass. at some initial speed squared is equal to one half k x squared. This is your x. You've got your k. Um, you've got your masses. So this becomes, so the halves cancel out. So you have k x squared over total mass of your system equals speed squared. Take the square root. Oh, it's okay. So we can pull that out. Oh, just before it hits. Okay. So this is, sorry, I was looking for that speed. So that's your initial velocity after it hit. And then before, you've got, during the collision, you have conservation of momentum. So you have the mass of the velocity. Uh, of the bullet, <clears throat> sorry, mass of the bullet times the original velocity, this is what we're solving for here, is equal to um, the mass of the total system times final velocity. That final velocity is this.
All right, so that takes care of that. So you got X over M, which this is D. Okay, because we've got, this is negative one half, this is two halves. There. And yes. And that looks like that one. Good. <laughs> so you plug in numbers into that. And then what is the frequency? So that um, so angular frequency is going to be equal to k over m. So you have the k. Your mass is the sum of those. And then to find frequency, so the equation I think they give you is 2 pi times the frequency. So divide, take that divided by 2 pi. that. How are we doing discerning when momentum is conserved, when mechanical energy is conserved? That is a, an essential skill for the AP test and for your test. <laughs> okay, that's so yeah, there's no unbalanced external forces, momentum, acting on objects in your system. There's no non-conservative forces doing work, angular momentum, if there's no unbalanced external torques. <clears throat> So part A, oops, sorry. It's number 10. So <clears throat> if we change the mass, nothing changes. It stays the same. It's a simple pendulum. Here it is, 2 pi. The length increases. Nothing with mass. Part B. Okay, so not hard. Okay, so with this one, <clears throat> this is a, we would consider this a physical pendulum because um, the radius of this is sig significant length compared to the length of the string. Okay, so what we're going to do is say that the period is equal to 2 pi i m g 
do is that, that you guys have on the equation sheet. Yep, that's a physical pendulum. Okay, so your I, that is talking about the moment of inertia of this whole system. So you're going to have to do parallel axis theorem. So center of mass times M times D all over MGD. We'll do capital D. From that solid ball, uniform density. So solid ball, I think it's two fifths MR squared. Is that correct? So this is 2 pi, 2 fifths m r squared plus the mass times d. d is going to be from your axis rotation to the center of mass. So this is d. So l in this case all over M G D the length. Good at that. Okay. Any questions there? Okie dokie.